it's 6 a.m. and pupils have started trickling in at the Springs of Living Water Academy one by one. But first things first, the school has to be clean. It is a special day. Yes, these teenagers are ready to graduate from primary school to secondary school. And everyone will be here to cheer them, including their parents. And what makes it more special is that some visitors who have traveled from thousands of miles are attending. But behind the smiles on their faces lies a pain that you never know. These children come from Bungoma, one of the remote villages in Kenya that is ravaged by poverty. Life at home is not well. We are passing through difficult, but because my mother is a farmer, she is trying to cut our needs. Yes. When Latanya first visited the school a few years ago, she found the students in these small rooms made of mud. And we started in the mud buildings that were uh, erected over by the church that sits on the grounds. But it was because there was no school. We saw that the children needed that. Without that, there was no hope. She then offered to help. We knew that we couldn't keep the students in um, mud houses long. We brought in bricks, iron sheets. We even, cement. yes, cement, the rocks. Uh, we even had them making bricks here on the ground. The school has transformed since then to this. A permanent structure with clean walls and a cemented floor and more. Offering a better environment for learning. I love this school, Springs of Living Water, because it has uh, really brought change to us as parents. And we are inspired with the vision that um, was started at this place. And how it is helping us, it is helping us that our students are going to get an education that uh, will be tangible results out of it. Sheila Matanda is 15 years. She is said to sit for final primary school exams in March. The school has helped me because I am not paying the school fees and it has given me the opportunity to chase my dreams of what I will be and I will be a doctor when I finish my school. I cared here the salary, all the food for my children, they are actually assisting me whereby I, I myself was unable to provide for my children. Amidst the glory, the school has a few challenges. The school is good and we are happy to come to school, but our, our floor is full of dust. We don't have a, a blackboard. Our blackboard is one-legged and we don't have even a ceiling board, windows and doors. Springs of Living Water has big plans for the school and the community. We want to measure up in every aspect. We know that the teachers that we have are doing a, an extremely fine job and we want to keep that happening. So we want them to be paid. Uh, according to the work that they're putting in. By helping these kids, by supporting this school, they are lifting the lives of this community. Because when you educate one child, you have educated the whole village. Education is important to children because they learn how to think critically, build their creativity and imagination, and also expose them to new ideas. By getting these kids to school, Springs of Living Water is ensuring they have a better future. From Bungoma, my name is Talisa Luzenjo.